Hello everyone, I am Sunita so welcoming you to the Medical and Pharmacy Crash Course Division in the Knowledge Club Online. At previous episode, I ended after discussing about class 1A type antiarrhythmic drugs. Today, I came with class 1B and class 1C type antiarrhythmic drugs in cardiac pharmacology. Stay tuned after the end, don't skip the lecture, if you skip, you can miss available points in between lecture. So I am going to start today's episode, so let's start. Fifth drug, Lidocaine. Lidocaine has introduced as a local anesthetic and is still used extensively for that purpose. Lidocaine is an effective sodium channel blocker binding to channels in the inactivated state. Lidocaine like other 1B agents acts preferentially it decreased tissue causing conduction block and interrupting recurrent re-entrant tachycardias. Lidocaine is a class 1B drug. The class 1B agents rapidly associate and dissociate from sodium channels. Thus, the actions of class 1B agents are manifested when the cardiac cell is depolarized or firing rapidly. Class 1B drugs are particularly useful in treating ventricular arrhythmias. Lidocaine was the drug of choice for emergency treatment of cardiac arrhythmias. Electrocardiographic changes. Lidocaine does not usually change the PR, QRS, or QT intervals, although the QT may be shortened in some patients. The positive of electrocardiography changes reflects lidocaine's lack of effect on healthy myocardium and conducting tissue. Hemodynamic effects. Lidocaine does not depress myocardial function even in the face of congestive heart failure at usual doses. Mechanism of action. Lidocaine, a local anesthetic, shortens phase 3 repolarization and decreases the duration of the action potential. Therapeutic uses. Lidocaine is useful in treating ventricular arrhythmias arising during myocardial ischemia such as that experienced during a myocardial infarction. The drug does not markedly slow conduction and thus the little effect on atrial or AV junction arrhythmias. Then the pharmacokinetics. Lidocaine is given intravenously because of extensive fast pass transformation by the liver which precludes oral administration. The drug is dealkylated and eliminated almost entirely by the liver. Consequently, doses adjustment may be necessary in patients with liver dysfunction or those taking drugs that lower hepatic blood flow such as propanogol. That means the oral bioavailability 30 to 40 percent, onset of action 5 to 15 minutes intramuscularly IM, immediately intravenously Peak response unknown, duration of action 60 to 90 minutes at IM or 10 to 20 minutes in IV. Plasma half-life 1 to 2 hours, primary root of metabolism 90% hepatic, primary root of excretion 10% renal, reminder as metabolites, therapeutic concentration serum 1.5 to 5 mg per ml. Clinical uses. Lidocaine is useful in the control of ventricular arrhythmias, particularly in patients with acute myocardial infarction. Lidocaine is the drug of choice for treatment of the electrical manifestations of digital intoxication. Adverse effects Lidocaine has a fairly wide toxic to therapeutic ratio. It shows little impairment of left ventricular function and has no negative inotropic effect. CNS effects include drowsiness, slurred speech, paresthesia, agitation, confusion, and conversions. Cardiac arrhythmias may also occur. Contraindications 
Contraindications include hypersensitivity to local anesthetics of the amitide, a very rare occurrence. Severe hepatic dysfunction, a history of grand mal seizure due to lidocaine and age 70 or older. Lidocaine is contraindicated in the presence of second or third degree heart block since it may increase the degree of block and can abolish the iroventricular pacemaker responsible for maintaining the cardiac rhythm. Number 6 drug, the phenytoin. Phenytoin was originally introduced for the control of convulsive disorder but has now also been shown to be effective in the treatment of cardiac arrhythmias. Phenytoin appears to be particularly effective in treating ventricular arrhythmias in children. Electrocardiographic changes because phenytoin improves AV conduction and shortens the action potential duration of ventricular myocardium. It may decrease the PR and QT intervals of the surface electrocardiogram. Hemodynamic effects. The effects of phenytoin on the cardiovascular system vary with the dose, the mode and rate of administration and any cardiovascular pathology. Rapid administration can produce transient hypotension and is that is the combined result of peripheral vasodilation and depression of myocardial contractility. These effects are due to direct action of phenytoin on the vascular bed and ventricular myocardium. If large doses are given slowly, dose related decreases in left ventricular force, rate of force development and cardiac output can be observed along with an increase in left ventricular and diastolic pressure. Pharmacokinetics, the pharmacokinetic characterization of phenytoins are the oral viability, slow and variable, onset of action 1 to 2 hours, peak response 1.5 to 6 hours, duration of action, variable, plasma half-life 22 hours, primary root of metabolism hepatic, primary root of excretion 5% renal, reminder as metabolites, therapeutic concentration serum 10 to 18 mg per ml. Clinical uses. Phenytoin like lidocaine is more effective in the treatment of ventricular than supraventricular arrhythmias. It is particularly effective in treating ventricular arrhythmias associated with digitalis toxicity, acute myocardial infarction, open heart surgery, anesthesia, cardiac catheterization, cardioversion, and angiographic studies. Phenytoin finds its most effective use in the treatment of supraventricular and ventricular arrhythmias associated with digitalis intoxication. The ability of phenytoin to improve digitalis induced depression of AV conduction is a special feature that contrasts with the action of other antiarrhythmic agents. Adverse effect the rapid IV administration of phenytoin can present a hazard. Re respiratory arrest, arrhythmias, and hypotension have been reported. Contraindications Phenytoin either should not be used or should be used cautiously in patients with hypotension, severe bradycardia, high grade AV block, severe heart failure, or hypersensitive to the drug. Because of the increased AV transmission observed with phenytoin administration. It should not be given to patients with atrial flutter or atrial fibrillation. Phenytoin will probably not restore normal sinus rhythm and may dangerously accelerate the ventricular rate. Seventh drug, tokenite. Tokenite is an orally effective antiarrhythmic agent with close structural similarities to lidocaine. Electrophysiological action in healthy volunteers, tokenite produces a slight depression in his Parkin G conduction as well as a slightly delayed enhancement of AV node conduction during atrial pacing. No significant alterations in heart rate. Right ventricular ERP or the excitation thresholds of atrial or ventricular muscle were observed in these subjects. Hemodynamic effects. The acute hemodynamic effects are slight and
and transient and are observed most often during or immediately after drug infusion. Pharmacokinetics, the pharmacokinetic characteristics of tocaidine, tocainide, the oral viability approximately 100% onset of action not known, peak response 0.5 to 2 hours, duration of action 8 hours, plasma half-life 15 hours, primary root of metabolism hepatic, primary root of excretion renal 40%, therapeutic concentration serum 3.11 mu g per m. Clinical uses Tokinant is indicated for the treatment of symptomatic ventricular arrhythmias, refractory to more conventional therapy. Serious non-cardiac adverse effects limit its use to patients with life-threatening arrhythmias. Adverse effect, light headache, dizziness, or nausea occurs in approximately 15% of patients. Paresthesia and numbness in 9% and tremor in 8%. These adverse effects are generally mild in intensity, transient and dose related. Overall, however, approximately 20% of patients prescribe tokenate discontinued therapy because of such effects. Serious immune based side effects such as pulmonary fibrosis have been reported and blood dyscrasias such as agranulocytes and thrombocytopenia may occur in up to 0.2% of patients. Contraindications patients who are hypersensitive to tokenite or to local anesthetics of the amitide should not be exposed to tokenite. The presence of second or third degree heart block in the absence of an artificial pacemaker also contraindicated the use of tokenite. Number 8 drug Mexilatin. Mexilatin is an antiarrhythmic agent with pharmacological and antiarrhythmic properties similar to those of lidocaine and tokenite. Like tokenite, Mexilatin is available for oral administration only. Electrophysiological actions, as with other members, members of class 1b, Mexilatin slows the maximal rate of depolarization of the cardiac membrane action potential and exerts a negligible effect on repolarization. Mexilatin demonstrates a rate-dependent blocking action on the sodium channel with the rapid onset and recovery kinetics suggesting that it may be more useful for the control of rapid as opposed to slow ventricular tachyarrhythmias. Hemodynamic effects, although its cardiovascular toxicity is minimal, mexilatin should be used with caution in patients who are hypotensive or who exhibit severe left ventricular dysfunction. Pharmacokinetics, the pharmacokinetic characteristics of mexilatin, the oral viability 90%, onset of action 0.5 to 2 hours, Peak response 2 to 3 hours, duration of action 8 to 12 hours, plasma half-life 10 to 12 hours, primary root of metabolism hepatic, primary root of excretion, primarily biliary, 10% renal. Therapeutic concentration, serum 0.5 to 2 mu g per ml. Clinical uses, mexilatin is useful as an anti arrhythmic agent in the management of patients with either acute or chronic ventricular arrhythmias. While it is not at present an indication for use, there is interest in using mexilatin to treat the congenital long QT syndrome when an abnormality in the SCN5A gene LQT3 has been found. Adverse effects are very, very narrow therapeutic window limits mexilatin use. The first signs of toxicity manifest as fine tremor of the hands followed by dizziness and blood vision. Hypotension, sinus bradycardia and widening of the QRS complex have been noted as the most common unwanted cardiovascular effect of IV mexilatin. The side effects of oral maintenance therapy include 
reversible upper gastrointestinal distress, tremor, light headacheness, and coordination difficulties. These effects generally are not serious and can be reduced by downward dose adjustment or ad administering the drug with milk. Cardiovascular adverse effects which are less common include palpitation, chest pain and angina or angina like pain. Contraindications Maxillatin is contraindicated in the presence of cardiogenic shock or pre-existing second or third degree heart block in the absence of a cardiac pacemaker. Caution must be exercised in administration of the drug to patients with sinus node dysfunction or disturbances of intraventricular conduction. Ninth drug, the flesainite. Flesainide is a fluorinated aromatic hydrocarbon examined initially for its local anesthetic action and subsequently found to have anti iodic effects. Flesainide inhibits the sodium channel leading to conduction slowing in all parts of the heart but most notably in the hispericity system and ventricular myocardium. It has relatively minor effects on repolarization. Flecainide also inhibits abnormal automaticity. Electrophysiological action, sinoatrial node, flesinate decreased the sinus cycle length but results in a clinically insignificant decrease in heart rate. In atrium, flecainide decreases the maximum rate of depolarization in atrial tissue and shifts the membrane responsiveness curve to the right. In every note, the atrioventricular conduction time measured as the AH interval is prolonged by flesenite as is the Hispalkinji or AV interval. In Hispalkinji system and ventricular muscle, the flesenite slows conduction in the Hispalkinji system and ventricular muscle to be a greater degree than in the atria. Flesenite may also cause block in accessory AV con connections which is the principal mechanism for its effectiveness in treating AV re-entrant tachycardia. Electrocardiographic changes Flesenite increases the PR, QRS and to a lesser extent. QTC's intervals the rate of ventricular repolarization is not affected and the QT interval prolongation is caused by the increase in the QRS duration. Hemodynamic effects Flesenite produces modest negative inotropic effects that may become significant in the subset of patients with compromised left ventricular function. The pharmacokinetics Oral viability 85 to 90%, onset of action 1 to 2 hours, peak response 1.5 to 6 hours, duration of action 1 to 2 days, plasma half life 12 to 30 hours, primary root of metabolism hepatic, primary root of excretion 10 to 50% renal, 5% facial, therapeutic concentration serum 0.2 to 1 gram per ml. Clinical use. Flesenide is effective in the treating most type of atrial arrhythmias. It is also used for life-threatening ventricular arrhythmias. However, flesenide should be used with extreme caution in any patients with structural heart disease. Flesenide crosses the placenta with fatal levels reaching approximately 70% of maternal levels. In many centers, it is the second line drug after digoxin for therapy of fatal arrhythmias. Because of the high incidence of proarrhythmia, initiation of therapy or significant increases in dosing should be performed only on inpatients. Adverse effects Most adverse effects occur within a few days or initial drug administration. The most frequently reported effects are dizziness, light headacheness, faintness, unsteadiness, visual disturbances, blurred vision, that is spots before the eyes, difficulty in focusing, nausea, headache and dyspnea, 
Worsening of heart failure and prolongation of the PR and QRS intervals are likely to occur with Fasinet, and an increased risk of proadmia has been reported. Contraindications Fasinet is contraindicated in patients with pre existing second or third degree heart block or with bundle branch block unless a pacemaker is present to maintain ventricular rhythm. It should not be used in patients with cardiogenic shock. Propafenone. Propafenone exhibits predominantly class 1c properties with conduction slowing due to sodium channel blockage. Additionally, propafenone is a weak beta receptor and L-type calcium channel blocker. This propafenone is the last type of drug in the class 1. Electrophysiological actions as with all members of its class, propafenone has its major effect on the fast inward sodium current. The 1C agent depresses Vmax over a wide range of heart rates and shifts the resting membrane potential in the direction of hyperpolarization. The 1C agent binds slowly to the sodium channel and dissociates slowly. Therefore, they exhibit rate-dependent block Inhibition of the sodium channel throughout the cardiac cycle will result in a decrease in the rate of ectopy and trigger ventricular tachycardia. Electrocardiographic changes propafenone causes dose dependent increases in the PR and QRS intervals. Hemodynamic effects The IV administration of propafenone is accompanied by an increase in right atrial, pulmonary atrial, and pulmonary artery wedge pressure in addition to an increase in ventricular resistance and a decrease in the cardiac index. A significant decrease in ejection fraction may be observed in patients with pre-existing late ventricular dysfunction. In the absence of cardiac abnormalities, propafenone has no significant effects on cardiac function. Then what is the pharmacokinetics? The pharmacokinetic characteristics of propafenone, the oral viability nearly complete, onset of action 1 hour, peak response 2 to 3 hour, duration of action 8 to 12 hours, plasma half-life 2 to 10 hours, primary root of metabolism hepatic, primary root of excretion 18.5 to 38% renal, therapeutic serum concentration 1 mg per ml. Clinical uses. Approved indications for propafenone include treatment of supraventricular arrhythmias and left retaining ventricular arrhythmias in the absence of structural heart disease. Propafenone has been shown to increase mortality in patients with structural heart disease, and so extreme caution must be used in this subset of patients. As with fasinate, the patient should be hospitalized for initiation of therapy. Adverse effects and drug interactions Concurrent administration of propafenone with digoxin, warfarin, propanol, or metoprolol increases the serum concentration of the latter four drugs. Cimetidin slightly increases the propafenone serum concentration. Additive pharmacological effects can occur with when lidocaine, procanamide, and quinidine are combined with propafenone. As with other members of the class 1C, propafenone may interact in an unfavorable way with other agents that depress AV nodal function, interventricular conduction, or myocardial contractility. Overall, 21 to 32% of patients have adverse effects. The most common are dizziness or light headacheness, metallic taste, nausea, and vomiting. The most serious are proarrhythmic events. Contraindications Propafenone is contraindicated in the presence of severe or uncontrolled congestive heart failure, cardiogenic shock, sinoatrial AV and interventricular disorder of conduction, and sinus node dysfunction, such as sick sinus syndrome. Other contraindications include severe barricadia, hypotension, obstructive pulmonary disease, and hepatic and renal failure. Because of its weak beta blocking action, Propafenone may cause possible dose-related bronchospasm. This problem is greatest in patients 
who are slow metabolizers so today we will learn total train drugs which are commonly used as a class 1 anti arrhythmic drugs actions to treat arrhythmias I discussed on some modern types of drugs also in pharmacological relevance. I will come at next episode with class 2 type of anti arrhythmic drugs. Revise the all episodes on heart thoroughly. I made it step by step accordingly. Here the all previous episodes list on heart anatomy and physiology chapter and cardiac pharmacology chapter. You will get all links at discussion part of this video or you can visit our channel. Before ending today's episode, if you like this video, please like, share and comments free. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. If you already subscribed, then thanks a lot. And after subscribing our channel, please click on the bell button for getting the regular update. I am coming with the another episodes very shortly till then. Goodbye.